this video finds you all very very well i don't know why i feel so scared to talk right now and that's only because i'm scared to get red lipstick on my teeth red is just the death of me it's so dangerous i don't know how people can wear this like literally all day long like it's so terrifying anyways today i'm going to be showing you guys how to create this beautiful creative makeup look using all maven beauty products and you may ask yourself why just maven beauty products and that is because this video is sponsored by the one and only maven beauty <laughs> Since this video is sponsored, I just want to say that every single product that I am mentioning in this video today, I swear you guys, I use every single day, if not every single day. They have really good products. At first, I was honestly really skeptical about them because if you guys don't know, Maven Beauty was founded by Fashion Nova. Obviously, Fashion Nova does sell Maven Beauty products. I didn't really know how to feel about that because it's a fashion brand mixed with a beauty brand so i was like okay where are we going with this but ever since they sent over their products i've been genuinely using them every single day i'm honestly really obsessed like they're really great great quality for how affordable they are like it's actually really insane but other than that if you guys are interested in learning or simply watching how i created this makeup look then just please keep on watching all right guys today we're going to be doing a voiceover as you guys can see here this is the look that we're going to be creating today first i'm going to go in with this maven beauty eyeshadow base in the shade coquito i am going to be taking my beauty blender and blending this all evenly all throughout the eyelid next i'm going to take this maven beauty eyeshadow quad in the shade bold blend Taking my blending brush, I'm going to be adding this shade all evenly all throughout the outer corner and then I'm slowly going to drag it and build it into the crease. I'm going to be dragging the shade a little bit outward towards the outer corner and I'm also going to be blending this a little upward towards the brow as well next taking this blush from maven beauty in the shade crush i'm also going to be using this as an eyeshadow just to add a little pop or hint of red to this look i am going to be building up these two eyeshadows as much as i possibly can that way we can get the most pigment next taking this darker orangey shade i'm going to be adding this to the outer corner and into the crease just to give it a little bit more dimension but we're not going to go too crazy with this at all next taking this maven beauty brush i'm going to be taking coquito the eyeshadow base that we used earlier into the lid just to clean it up a little bit and to build up that cut crease that we're going to be creating right on top of that Moving on to the next palette. This one is from Maven Beauty as well. This one is in the shade Soft Blend. I'm going to be taking the lightest shade in this palette and packing it onto the cut crease that we created. I did decide to add glitter to the first inner part of the cut crease. Any glitter will do. I did decide to go in with this goldish glitter. Next, I went ahead and grabbed my pointed blending brush. And this is the brush that's going to really help me create that smoked out liner that i wanted for this look i did use the first shadow from earlier 
Next, taking this Maven Beauty liner in the shade brown, I'm just going to be lining my lash line with this. I'm not going to do anything too crazy with this, just strictly lining my lash line. I am going to be using another palette from Maven Beauty. This one is in the shade Define, and I'm going to be taking these two dark shades from the palette. As you guys can see, it's my favorite. <laughs> I'm going to be packing these two eyeshadows right on top of that liner that we created, and this just really, makes the liner look really bold and diffused and it makes it look very smoked out just what i'm wanting for today's look next i grabbed up a really detailed brush and i'm taking the two dark shades from the define palette as well really lightly i'm just going to start lining that upside down liner that's going to go right below the wing liner that we created i am also going to be lining my waterline with the coquito shade from earlier i just made sure to really set this base and i am going to be adding the dark brown right underneath that coquito shade and it's just really going to add a little bit of dimension underneath the eyes and really open up the eyes as well next taking this other maven beauty liner this one is a metallic liner in a shade gold and i really loved this one so i decided to add it right underneath that wing liner and i decided to add it a little bit on top of the crease as well Going back in with that brown liquid liner, I'm just going to go over the lining on the upside down wing that we created. And I'm also going to go over the shadowing uh, right underneath the waterline just to really, really make it more intense and dramatic. okay so at this point i was feeling like i was missing something else for this look i was originally just going to leave it the way that it was but it just felt very simple for me so i decided to also add some of that brown liner and line right next to the gold lining that we did on the crease and I don't know what it was about it, but it really just made the whole look come together. It just really made it more dramatic. And I, I don't know, I just decided to have fun with this liner. Even though it was really hard to do all the detailing in here, you really have to have a steady hand for this. I did also went ahead and added the lashes and the jewels to this look. And that completes this eye look. Okay, I did went ahead and added my lashes and we are all finished with this eye look today. Oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed. <sighs> I'm just so happy that I decided to wait to film this video or to film it again because yesterday I actually filmed another video and I just hated it so much and I kind of already knew it wasn't going to be my day. I feel like that's how it kind of works when I film like I wake up sometimes and I automatically know I'm going to ace this video and then some days I wake up and it's just like today it's just I just feel it's not in me and then I film and then it just completely like just doesn't go my way so that was yesterday I'm so happy about today because today I kind of redeemed myself I am so obsessed with today's look so we're gonna be doing some last minute touches to this makeup look today of course we have the lips to do and i also wanted to add a little bit of blush but i'm gonna be adding these two blushes i'm super obsessed with these two right here not to mention all of their blush collection is fire you guys do i have something on my lips i don't know guys i have their entire blush collection right here with me and i just am super obsessed i have to show you guys like look at this so fire there's like two four six eight ten twelve different shades to choose from they're all super pigmented so beautiful i mean look at the packaging you guys saw earlier the print inside i cannot it's so 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 fire to add a little bit of more bronzer 
for today's look I'm gonna go in with spent and I'm just gonna add like I said a tiny bit of this to the cheekbones just to add a little bit more also don't mind my dogs in the back they're going crazy they just woke up from their nap and then next I'm gonna go in with my favorite blush from their entire collection I kid you not this is by far the best blush that I've tried personally. I love me a good peachy blush, just like a warm slash bronzy kind of shade. And this one is just it for me. They're just so pigmented, so beautiful, so easy to blend in. It's just so good. Okay, for lips, I'm not sure if I wanna do like a deep red because I feel like it would actually look really good with this look. But then again, I kinda wanna do a nude because I don't know if it would be too much. So, oh my gosh, this is the worst nude. Or red. I think we're gonna go in with the red. I just feel like this is more fun. So I'm gonna line my lips first, but the lipstick that I'm gonna be using from Maven Beauty is called Diablita. Diablita. So this lipstick. I did add a little bit of a darker liner around just to add a little bit of dimension to my lips. Here is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It actually turned out better than I planned. If you guys have not checked out Maven Beauty, definitely go do so. They have amazing products for super, super, super affordable prices. And they work amazingly, you guys. Everything that I showed you guys today, I truly, truly, genuinely love. But other than that, if you guys are interested in all of the Maven Beauty products mentioned today, I will list everything down below in the description for you guys, as well as my social media. That way you guys know what I do when I'm not on YouTube. I love you guys. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye, guys.